fifth grade. This is showing you important events happening next week at St. John's. Our Ennisbrook fundraiser kicked up off with a bang. Get out there and start selling the amazing products that are off. Offers are due back on Friday, October 24th. Be a hero for your school days. Sell, sell, sell. Family, Fall Family Fun Day is next Saturday, October 25th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. There will be trunk or treating, fun games, and activities, and snacks. Volunteers are still needed, are still needed for, events, for the event. Sign up on Sign Up Genius today. We can't wait to see everyone's costumes. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Behind the Scenes with 5th Grade. Now here's Brendan with Miss Pizza. I'm going to take a sneak peek with you guys at the Mrs. Pizza's room to see what their kids are working on. The salt dung models of Maryland. I think what? when I did it, I think yeah. it was pretty cool. Let's go see what they're up to. Okay, recess is in so seven minutes. Hello. Hello. Hey, Miss Pizza, do you mind if we take a peek at what your kids are working on? Sure. Oh, okay. What are you doing to me? I have to say. Oh, Pretty good guys. Thanks. Do you want anyone to explain what they're doing? Or do you want to take care of that? Okay. Now, I'm going to That was that was a couple of the salt dome outside Mrs. Freezer's room with Top of the School News. I'm here with Miss Freezer asking her a couple of questions. What are, what are, what are your students working on right now? Well, this is a project that we just started yesterday for social studies. Um, the students are creating a map of Maryland out of salt dough. And they had to use the salt dough to make the three different regions of Maryland. And they also labeled those regions and some of the important uh, places in Maryland. Are you guys working on any book projects right now? Because I remember when I was in fourth grade, we had so many. Um, we are working on a book project. We're on our second book project. So the students had to choose either a mystery or an adventure book to read. And then they're going to create a skeleton. This is an example from last year. Yeah, I, I remember when I did that on the Hardy Boys. It was oh. the Tower Treasure. So um, for the skeleton, they just have to pick out certain um, story elements um, and events in the story, and they represent them in their skeleton. Thank you, Ms. Weezer. This is once again Brendan, Brendan Kelly reporting live for Top of the School News. Now on to Caroline Walther with Mrs. Dickinson. Hi, I'm Caroline Walther here for Behind the Scenes of Fifth Grade. I know it's Today I'm going to be interviewing Mrs. Dickinson. Mrs. Dickinson. Okay, so tell me about the ABC book you are reading. We have um, the Blue Reading Without Tears program. We do a letter every week. We start with the letters that are the easiest to write that have the straight lines. So we're up to T. We've done L, E, F, and H. We're up to letter T. The children at the table are making traffic lights. We save them. We do two pages for each letter. We save them and put them in a big notebook that goes home at the end of the year. Okay. Do you have any plans for Halloween? Oh, we have many plans for Halloween. We do, of course, the Halloween parade and a Halloween party that's going to be part of our lunch this year for Halloween. How long have you been working at St. John's? This is my seventh year teaching at St. John's with Miss Smith as my assistant for seven years. If you're not at St. John's teaching, where can we find you? Hmm, probably home. With a you go to tabletop. Thanks for returning. Liv can show you the finished product. And to do this, we are cutting and gluing, cutting straight lines and circle lines and gluing. This is JJ Abel reporting for Behind the Scenes News with 5th grade. I'm inter here interviewing Chaplain Jenny. How are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. Well, um, well, I'm going to be ask, um, asking some questions about student council. What are the class representatives? Well, I'm excited to say that the various representatives to our student council this year are Wyatt Olson, Lily Norbeck, Adam Warbutton, Macy Campbell, Nicholas McGowan, Ryan Kelly, Tyler Schroff, Brooke Hurley, Jacob Howard, Brooke Lockwood, Olivia Herbst, and Dylan Walter. That's great for them. 
Um, what are the things that they can run for? Well, those are the people who've been elected as the student council. And then from within that team, we're going to have a leadership team. So some of our students, so that if they're in third and fifth grade, they're eligible for different offices. They might run for president, vice president, communications coordinator, or outreach coordinator. Cool. And when is the next election for the final decision? Yeah, so now that the student council have been elected, and we've already started our work together, the elections for those officer positions will happen on November 4th. The candidates will give a speech to the whole student body in kindergarten through fifth grade, and then everybody in kindergarten through fifth grade will have a chance to vote for each of those positions. That's great. Thank you for listening for, to Behind the Scenes News fifth grade. This is JJ signing out. Hi, this is Erin Richardson reporting live from Behind the Scenes with fifth grade. I am interviewing Ms. Senora Perez, my, one of my favorite teachers at St. John's. Yes, yes. Hola, Senora Perez. How are you doing today? Hola, Erin. Thank you. I am doing just great. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're having a good day. Thanks. So, my first question, I have a few questions for you to answer. My first question is, what are you doing in class right now for the classes? Okay. Our Spanish class is getting so excited. First grade in kindergarten and learning colors. Okay. Once we enter the season of fall, so basically we went to all of the colors and the change of the leaves. And also, the second grade students are learning days of the week. Uh, they're working on this nice project. Um, they have been working for the past week and they practice this week. Uh, third grade is learning school subjects. And fourth and fifth graders are working on research. Oh, that's great. I love doing my research project. My second question is, what is your favorite thing teaching here at St. John's? It's very interesting. I've been at St. John's for 11 years now. And every year is different, and it's a big exciting. And get to know every single child share um, the love of culture, Hispanic cultures with them, and also uh, seeing them from kindergarten to fifth grade, uh, learning how to communicate, you know, the basics in Spanish. That, that's wonderful. That's a perfect answer. And Bill, how do you Third question, my third and last question is, what projects are you working on with the fourth the fourth grade students just finished researching Latin American countries. And they have been presenting through the whole um, week. Uh, it, was, uh, it was great because we get to display all of the Spanish speaking countries flags and also the projects. And they were very excited to learn new things about all of these countries. Oh, that's very wonderful for them. Once again, this is Aaron.